All right, we're here with Coach Yeski. Uh, Coach, just wanted to talk to you about the upcoming season and what you see from our pitching staff. Uh, just give us a quick uh, general idea of what uh, fans can expect this season. Well, I think they can expect to see a lot of new faces. We have uh, quite a few freshmen this year that will not have the luxury that uh, freshmen in the past may have had where they can kind of ease into the process. We're going to throw them right into the fire right away and, and kind of see some of the guys and where they can uh, deal with adversity. Some of those guys will certainly have some success. I would anticipate that all of them at some point will have some failures, and we'll see who can kind of navigate themselves the best through that process. With such a big part of the staff being younger pitchers, you know, freshmen and some junior college transfers, what's the biggest thing for them to realize in their first season at the D1 level? Uh, I think that it's still just baseball. Uh, the game's going to change a little bit and here in the Pac-10 compared to where they've been at in high school or wherever their junior college level is. The game will be faster, but it's still baseball, and it boils down to execution. If, and if they believe in their stuff the way that we as coaches believe in their stuff, then I think that they'll have success. And it's been said time and time again that every one of the guys who was on this team was pretty much the guy at their, their high school. But you know now when you get to the college level, especially the Pac-10, every one of the guys that they're going to square off against was, was the guy as well. Um, so there's always going to be parts where they're not going to have success. What's, what do they need to remember when they have a bad outing or, or an instance like that? Because it, it obviously will happen. Yeah, I think that what they're going to have to really think about is that they're going to get the baseball again. They're going to get another opportunity to go back out there and compete. And it's just a matter, I think, of, of minimizing damage. We talk about that in innings, that rather than give up four, let's give up two. Rather than three, let's give up one. And, and for them to be able to rebound and understand that they are going to get the baseball again and to be prepared when they go back out there, not only physically but mentally. Uh, the mental side of it is so big at this age because, as you touched on, you get a lot of guys who were the guy at their high school. And some of them are going to have to get used to pitching out of the bullpen, something that they weren't accustomed to in the past. And some of those guys uh, will have to get used to maybe pitching on Sunday. Where Sometimes I think that for young men they perceive that, well, Sunday I'm the third guy. When you look at a big picture, you understand that every game is important. So just an opportunity for those guys to go out there and perform consistently, I think, is, is what those guys will have to focus on. Uh, tell me a little bit about what you're expecting out of Sam Gaviglio, obviously a junior and uh, kind of regarded as maybe the ace, quote-unquote, ace of the staff this season. Well, I, I expect Sam to do what he's done the last two years. That's bring uh, a great work, th work ethic to the field. Um, I think he prepares very well. Did he have a couple struggles last year? Yeah, there were some things hindering him with his delivery uh, that, that played into some, I would say, inefficiencies with his pitch execution. But I think he's going to have some success. Um, and I think that for him, maybe different than a lot of other guys, that how we play defensively behind him will, will be a, certainly a key. He's, he's a ground ball machine. If you look back historically at the games that he's had success, He's going to get somewhere in the neighborhood of 13, 14, 15 ground ball outs over the course of the game. So if we can play sound behind him, I think that he's going to have a lot of success. And also talk a little bit about some of the other returners. You guys, you guys, you know, have uh, guys like James Niger and Matt Boyd and Tony Bryant, and and just what do you see out of that group this year as they kind of, and in some effects, uh, mentor the, the the new guys. Well, that's just it. I think they're going to have to take more of a leadership role and, and be more assertive. They're going to have to lead by example. Uh, you touched on Niagara, and I think he's developing well. He had a good summer. Matt Boyd uh, still trying to work out some kinks in his delivery and, and establish consistency for himself. Tony, we go back and look, and, and he pitched well for us against quality opponents over the course of the year and, and did everything I think that you could ask for a freshman. Uh, Ryan Gordon has made great strides. He's, he's thrown the ball very well for us here coming back in the spring. And, uh, you know, even when you look at the influence that Taylor Starr and Josh Osich have, even though they're not out there every day, they're having a uh, positive influence on a lot of those guys. And I think that when they're healthy, uh, certainly they're going to take our staff in a, in a new direction as well. So uh, I, I think the returners, I think they, they've got their heads on right and then their focus is there. we just got to be ready again to deal with the adversity because in baseball, you're going to lose some baseball games. You're going to have some bad innings. You're going to have some bad calls with the youth that we have, showing them that everything's going to be okay will be very important. And you touched about Josh and Taylor a little bit, you know, coming back from uh, arm injuries last season. As someone who kind of went through that, you know, during your playing career, uh, how does that give you perspective on what you can expect from them this season? Well, there, there will be some inconsistencies with them early just because they're going to have to work out 
the dynamics of their delivery. You know, baseball is a sport of repetition, maybe more than any other. And being able to repeat your delivery is huge from a pitching standpoint. And when you don't get a chance to go out there and compete over a year and a half, two year span, as both of them have gone through, um, I think that can be pretty tough to just go out there and expect that you're going to be on top of your game right away. So there will be some growing pains, but I think that when it's all said and done, both of them will, will be in a, in a pretty good position come the end of the season. Great. All right, Coach, I appreciate your time, and good luck this season. Thanks, Hank.